Hello, survivalists. Welcome back to Force of Nature 2. Ghost Keeper. Making some sulfur because, well, the whole dynamite thing needs sulfur, saltpeter, all that stuff. But I've been making some, so we should be set for today, but I'm preparing for the future. Uh, let me go ahead and put some of this stuff back away. I've uh, been busy in between episodes. Like always, I've been making a lot of the jaded stuff. So, I think we had the Jaded Sword last episode, but if I didn't, uh, I got one now. I got myself the axe, the pickaxe. I also, on my character, went ahead and made the Jaded Battle Shield, which gives me 20% block chance. 20 armor, two, uh, plus 2 on damage, and a little bit of poison resistance. I also made the Dried Mushroom Beads for poison resistance of 30. I also have leveled up, we're now level 15, and I went ahead and, in my skill points... See if I can remember what I did here. Um, I went ahead and put one point in accuracy, even though I don't use long range stuff, but I do when it comes to bosses. So uh, we went from 40% to 60%. I also went ahead and did some curse level two. So that does damage uh, around the area that we are when I use mana. And I think that went from 40 damage to 55 damage. So that's pretty good. And I think I put also another point into right here. Oh yeah, poison resistance. We're now up uh, to 90. Whatever all that stuff means. It's too bad you can't see that in your character. Uh, when you get your character up, it doesn't show like poison resistance anywhere here. So I have no... Oh, wait, I can scroll down. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that does help. Uh, poison resistance is now 125. So poison damage taken is down to 44%. Which is kind of uh, good when you're fighting all those spiders and snakes. So the two caves that we unlocked in the swamp, I cleared them out. There's not much to clear out in there. You just go a little ways and there's just dead ends everywhere. So you just get jade in there. And of course you got the spiders where you can get um, spider webs. And of course you got the mushroom stuff to deal with. Also over to here, I went ahead and built myself into the greenhouse and expanded the greenhouse building a little bit. So we got two greenhouses here. Yep, they're ready to be harvested. I think I may go ahead and put two more down here and eventually put in like a, a fertilizer hut. So I think a fertilizer hut will help out the greenhouses. But the first thing we're going to do today is we are going to go ahead and discover poison. I think it's poison something or other. Poise, poison craft. So let's go ahead and, and discover that. That requires jade alloy, swamp water, uh, three papyrus, and ten ink. And I'm prepared for future discoveries as well. Uh, my goal today, unlock construction level number three because I want to be able to build a stone building. So I can go ahead and put all this other stuff that's outside inside of a stone building and the reason why i want a stone building because it's a lot of fire material so building it out of stone would probably be good so the biggest thing i need to discover today in order to do all that is going to be this right here swamp dale um i gotta figure out how to make that so we'll figure out how to do that hopefully today because i need i need alchemy level number two in order to do construction level number three because hybrid potato uh i've also unlocked poison crafting number two cold crystal well we haven't got there yet um but that's fine so the next two things i hopefully we can do today i got ink i got enough paper i believe are these two right here so swamp deal we got to figure out how to do which we learned by doing alchemy level number two wait that doesn't make no sense no no i gotta do that in the seed but never mind hang on a second we'll get it we'll get it uh okay so we got something new here in the alchemy table so we know how to do ruby solution which i got rubies and we got ambers uh i got a good amount of vinegar. Not a whole lot, but a good amount. So I'm not really sure what that's going to allow us to do. Alright, so anything new here? No, nothing new here. Let's go over to here. Nothing new there. I'm guessing when I get to the seed beds, maybe it'll show me something new. No, it does not. I got to find myself some swamp dill then. I know the swamp dill can go into the seed beds. Um, how are we doing here? I need, I need some more knacker. I'm not out of knacker, but like someone said a long time ago, we're going to need plenty of it. And, um, yep. I thought I had a good amount of storage going, but slowly but surely, I'm getting through it. So I've got to go ahead and make sure that I keep up on that. I don't want to get behind on stuff. Let's go in here. Knacker. Yep. Go ahead and craft that. Let's go back to the table. So Swamp Dill, you can find and take it from the ground. All right, so maybe it's in the swamp somewhere. I just not have seen it. Uh, I've also crafted myself a backpack. Um, just a regular backpack. It's called 24 slots. Oh, I got something new here. 
Something new. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, whew. That's a lot of material. Uh, the rope, not a problem. Paper, not a problem. Jaded alloy, not a problem. Nail, uh, this right here, glass bottle. I don't think I have 10 glass. I just made some glass, not a whole lot. I made two. And how much glass do I got in here? One. Um, I got one. I need tropical sand for that. All right, so I got to build myself a cald uh, calderon. Um, all right, so I need seven more, right? Glass bottle, it just takes one glass. Yep. So I got to go ahead and make some glass. But while I'm doing that, let me grab some coal and some embers. I'll get at least started on the first three. And with those three ghosts going there, should be fine. Okay, so wait a minute. What do I need again for that? Uh, glass is... Oh, God. Uh, yeah, saltpeter. How much saltpeter do we have here? 13. I have enough in here. So I'm going to go grab some tropical sand and get working on the glass bars. Glass bars sound weird saying that. Shouldn't take me too long, and we'll build ourselves a calderon and see uh, what we can make in there. So off to Paradise Island I go to get some swamp, uh, tropical sand. Back from Paradise Island, got my uh, tropical sand, made the glass bars, made some glass jars, and right now I'm crafting up some rope that I need. Yeah, I went to Paradise Island, kind of forgot I need my cooling uh, outfit on. <sighs> Lost a lot of stamina at first. I'm like, oh, why is the screen so wavy? That's because it's flipping hot in Paradise Island. You need <laughs> Oh, yeah, switch it on out. Lost a lot, but we're all set. Okay, let's go ahead and build this. Um... No, I, did, I hit the wrong button. Yep. No W. Uh, let's go ahead and build it right here alongside this wall, apparently. That'd be a good spot for it. Uh, sure. And maybe this will lead us to where the swamp mill is. I have no idea, but I'll have to go to the swamp. Now, I have cleared out all the areas in the swamp to each individual cave. But I got three more caves to blow up. I do have three dynamite packages, sticks of dynamite, whatever you want to call it. Those are ready to go. I don't think I'll find the swamp deal inside the caves. My guess is I'll find it inside the swamp. And I really haven't investigated about that uh, totem that's in the swamp as well, what to do with it. Our little orb says, uh, yeah, you need to be here to do something. My guess is I may find out once I get to a boss fight or something like that. And I'm starting to feel like maybe that this uh, Calderon is built backwards here. But that's okay. We can, uh, when we move it and rotate it around, it uh, doesn't take as long to build it. So we know we're going to know how to make amber and ruby something or other in the alchemy table. So I'm guessing we're going to have to use it for here. Who knows? But I really want to get construction number three going so I can build the bigger chest. Uh, I can upgrade these chests, uh, the chests that we got here. Right now they hold 20. And I think I upgraded to 24, but that creates, uh, costs a lot of material. Uh, the cupboards only require planks and nails, and it holds 40. And inventory lately is becoming a big problem for me. Here, I'm going to have to rotate this around. Facing the wrong way, but that's fine. Or is it? Maybe it's not. All right, so, oh, healing potions. Okay, that requires ruby solution and sinister grape juice. Okay. Um... Poor quality, medium quality. I'm a little confused here because when you... You can make poor quality, medium quality, or good quality, but the ingredients are the, exactly the same? That just seems weird. Uh, I need any pen, scales, and any mortar. Uh, stamina potion. Hmm... Uh, 60, and that's going to be made with Amber Solution. Uh, Mana Potion. Ooh, uh, Ectoplasm, Blue Slime. Ah, this is where a lot of this stuff comes in here. Mana Potion, I could use that once in a while. What's Antidote do? Uh, neutralize, neutralizes 10% of poison per, uh, 10% of poison per second for 8 seconds. And this gives me poison resistance 70 for 1 minute. Um, Knacker and juice all right so that's not too bad is that facing the right way no nah, it's not facing the right way let's go ahead and rotate that around here
All right, so now what we're going to do is, since, uh, well, there's no swamp deal there, we're going to go ahead and grab... Man, my inventory is kind of full. Let me go ahead and put some of this stuff away. We're going to grab some dynamite, head back to the swamp. Uh, we're going to investigate those three caves. I'm not going to go and clear them all out, but just kind of go in there a little bit, see what's in there, see if there's something different. And then if we don't find this, nothing different, then i got to start investigating the swamp a little bit more and see if I can go ahead and find where this swamp deal is. Because, like I said, if we come to the discovery table... Alchemy level number two, Swampdale, and it says you can find and take it from the ground. My guess is it's got to be in the middle of sw uh, Swamp somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Please be somewhere. Well, back into the Swamp, and if we check on the map, this would be, from the start point, this would be the third cave. And in my inventory, I got three dynamites. Let's go ahead and use dynamite. Let's back up a little bit. I stood a little too close last time and took about 35 damage. All right, let's go in and investigate this cave here. I got my sword ready. I'm guessing, are all the caves gonna be the same? I have no idea. The one thing about the spiders that annoy me once in a while, when you fight a group of them, they will just run away sometimes. So yeah, they'll attack you and then you, you got like, you gotta chase them. It's almost like they know like, eh, I can't win this battle and they run off. Uh, is this one... What is down this way, if anything? Blue nightcaps. I'm just going to leave that stuff there. I, I got plenty of blue nightcaps back at base, at home. So, right now we're just looking for something different. Because, like I said, I really want to unlock construction level number three for sure. So I'm going to explore this cave just a little bit. And if I don't see nothing, then uh, I'll see you at the next cave. Cave snot caps. No, we already have that. So, yeah, I think it's just going to be the same stuff in all the caves. Be my guess, anyways. And I'm at the end of this tunnel. Well, I have inspected all the caves. Went in about, I'm going to guess, half, halfway to all of them. And they're pretty much all the same. Uh, you go into one, you go into all of them. But I'm guessing maybe when I get to the end of, like, maybe the like the last cave, the fifth cave, maybe there might be something special in there. Don't know. But like I said, the main goal of this episode is to get to construction level number three. And I ran across another totem. And another one of these guys. Uh, not a big deal here. No, will you come here? How many? Yeah, that was like four blocks in a row. That's kind of cruel, man. Kind of cruel. So yeah, I'm not really sure what to do with these totems as of yet, but I'll have to investigate that. And maybe, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a boss fight at, on this map somewhere. And maybe when I do, I'll have to go investigate all the totems. And they'll show me something. Uh, like I said, I got the Jaded Axe. And yep, can't do nothing with a totem. Uh, pickaxe, can't do nothing with it. And yeah, I you can shovel all the way around it and nothing. Nothing. So I, I don't know. Uh, but now we're on the hunt for Swamp Dill. And I was wondering about these things. But I chopped down some of these things before and it came a nothing. Uh, Swamp Dill says you can just pick it up off the ground. So I'm trying to figure out where to go. Where do I go to find Swamp Dill? Uh, right now, this is the way my map kind of looks. Uh, that's where we entered. I do have a teleporter over here. Got all the caves discovered. And now I'm kind of like still going alongside the cliff here, so maybe we'll find it somewhere. So I'm going to do some searching here, see what I can find. If I find it, I'll bring it back and I can show you where I found it. I will just say this. A long journey to find the Swamp Dill, but I finally found it. Yeah, you got to go through one of the caves on the original Swamp Map. And at the end of one of those caves, there's another cave that brings you to another Swamp Map. And just as I came out here, I saw the mushrooms, but hello, Swampdale. How you doing? Go ahead and harvest that while we're here. See if I can find some more here. While I'm here, you know, I'm going to harvest all this stuff. I need to make some more healing potions or some food. I've been back home a couple times because, yeah, those, uh, when you get through a little bit further, the spiders get a little bit more powerful, a little bit bigger. Yeah, and they keep running away, but I had to go back and keep making goulash. Um, I actually made some healing potions. 
when we get back home, I'll explain the healing potions a little bit, why it says good, medium, and poor, or whatever. Uh, right now, I'm looking for just a little bit more swamp deal, because I don't know how much we're going to need. And right now, I'm not seeing any more currently. Oh, there's some more. Oh, get away from the poison, please. The only thing I wish I had right now was the materials to build a teleporter. But that's okay. Well, um, I can do that off camera later on. Swamp Bill anymore? More Swamp Bill? Some more cane. Some more Swamp Bill over here. Let's grab that. And alright, we're gonna call that good for now. Let's go ahead and get the Wanderer over here. Yeah, get me out of here, will you please? Get me the heck out of here, because it's been a while. Uh, <laughs> to get into those caves, yeah, it, it gets a little bit more rough and rough and rough. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is, uh, let's go over here and upgrade Alchemy table number two, is it? Uh, so I need three paper, ten ink. Uh, can we get in here? Let's grab all the paper. Let's grab all the ink. If I got space for it, I do. Good. Alchemy, level number two. Let's go ahead and discover that. And then I can probably figure out how to make those, uh, let's see, construction level number two is going to require... A hybrid potato. And then, then we'll have to make some just regular paper. So that ought to be interesting. So hopefully uh, we'll find out here soon enough how to make some of this stuff. And voila, something new over here. Regular paper is white cane. Um, okay, I had not found white cane. Glue, yeah, we got glue. That's not a problem. Uh, white cane, had not found that yet. My guess is it's on that map. So that's going to kind of to make regular paper. Um, what else do I need to make here? Uh, hybrid potato is what we're going to need to make. Okay, so let's come over to here. Um, what we got new over here? White powder. Ah, oh, that God. salt, salt peter. Ah, uh, salt peter is going to kill me. And not simple grenades, but regular grenades. Okay, uh, the grenades have not been my friend. Oh, we got something new on the tailoring table. Can we come over to the tailoring table? Uh, insulated fabric, which is scraps of insulated fabric. I have not seen that. Ooh, uh, some upgraded material here. I'm kind of liking this. Uh, antidote, strong thread. All right, well, we don't know how to, I don't know how to make strong thread yet, but it might be here. But some of this armor, I'm thinking I'm going to need. That's for darn sure. What about the boost? What did the boost give me? 10 run speed. I'm still rocking the Islander boost because of the 15% run speed. I like me my run speed, especially chasing those sprite spiders. So armor will be 36 compared to 3. That's a big, uh, uh, poison resistance is nice. Health is 20, that's plus 5. Stamina is 4, that's 11. I lose a little bit of run speed, but that's fine. Uh, but I gotta figure out how to make, is it gonna show me how to do, uh, thread in here. Graceful pants, warm light boots. This is getting me ready for the winter biome. My guess is after I beat the swamp boss. It'll be there. Warmer, 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 warmer. We'll investigate that stuff later if I can remember. Uh, what else we got here for new stuff? Where is it? Strong thread is made with fibrous steel. Um, alchemy table level number two, apparently. Fibrous steel. Um, fibrous steel? Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll find out in other tables. Let me scroll down here. What do we got here? Something new here. Uh, insulated fabric. Well, we don't have that yet. What do we got in here? A jade bow. I was wondering about that. I'm like, oh, geez, I don't get no jade bow. So not until we can figure out how to do strong thread. Strong thread is done in tailoring table number two. Mm -hmm. Well, we just investigated that. Uh, that's the other thread I don't know how to make yet. Uh, over here at the animals. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, so, some new stuff in here. What do I want to harvest here? Do I got an empty seed bed? I do. Let's go over here. So, Swamp Dill. Uh, there we go. This is made with fibrous dill seed. Don't know how to do that. Uh, hybrid potato. I'm pretty sure we'll figure out white cane seed. I wonder if that's with... I wonder if I just do that with sugar cane. Well, let's come over to here in our seed bed. Yep, our seed bed is showing us we got new things. Fibrous dill is just made with, well, dill. Uh, spider webs, slime. Oh, wow. A whole bunch of stuff. 
slime's not that hard to make. Um, I may need some more green else because I got plenty of webs. The dill uh, hybrid potato, of course, is done with potato and blue slime. Uh, white cane seeds done with cane and knacker. All right, so wow, I'm gonna have. I, I, I was hoping to get the construction level number three today, but I'm guessing I'm, I got a lot of work to do in between episodes. Making some seed, gathering up materials, so we can go ahead and do so. Let me gather up some knacker here and some knacker there as well. Yeah, because I really want construction level number three so I can go ahead and make the biggest storage areas and I can start going ahead and crafting a lot of that stuff. All right, so while we're here on the healing potions, what do we need? I need some sinister grape. So, let's see, can I make something? What do I need? Uh, knacker. I'll go ahead and make some, I'll make a vitamin drink so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Knacker, we got knacker. Uh, knacker is going to be in this chest here. Uh, oh, where's, yeah, we'll grab that. Okay, there we go. I'll just go make one. So, when you come into here, it's going to say vitamin drink and it's going to say poor, medium, good. And it just shows the same ingredients. Um, when you come here and craft, I'm just going to go ahead and craft one. And I did go ahead and make myself a stone mortar, 30% crafting speed, a jaded scale for 30% crafting spa speed. And I had, I had extra pens because one time I made more pens than what I need, but uh, I got a pen in here. Anyways, you go to craft. And then when you come to craft, and this is where it comes in. Yeah, you're going to use, we're going to use one devil pineapple juice and a couple of knacker. But now you got to figure out the recipe and let's see. Let's go 0.75 and 0.75 craft. Now we don't know what quality we're going to get until it comes out, I believe. And what do I get? That's poor quality. All right, so that is poor quality there. Uh, let's go ahead and craft another one. How about if we go high on the knacker, but low on the devil's pineapple juice. So see, it shows me the result before. 75% knacker and 75% uh, devil pineapple juice. The result was a 22. Let's go ahead and craft this one here and see what we get. Uh, that's poor quality as well. All right. Um, how about we go low on the knacker and like medium on that? Uh, that's medium quality. All right, let's go to craft again. So how about we go a little bit lower on the knacker? Let's go to point ten, and we'll go point nine. That's poor quality. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> we're getting there. Uh, let's go. Let's go up to point four, and bring this down to point six. I'm not saying this has to equal one. Maybe it does. I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing or how that how we're figuring this out here. But what do we got here? Uh, that's poor quality. And I'm out of knacker, but <laughs> I'm getting there. Uh, we are getting kind of close to it. All right, so what do I got in my inventory? I got that stuff, uh, and I got some knacker here. All right, so let me go ahead and put some stuff away. We're going to go back to the swamp area. I'm going to get materials to build a teleporter because I need to get to swamp map number two. Um, but I'll show you what cave to go in to get to that swamp. Well, who are we kidding? If I said I was going to do construction level number three, we're going to do it. So I've been making some white cane. Some hybrid potatoes. I got my three paper. Construction level number three. Because I need storage. I mean, all these chests are completely full. If I can double each storage, that's going to be great. Plus, I, saw, I should start to be able to build the stone foundations and whatnot. All right. Let's go ahead. And I also got the material for the teleporter here pretty darn soon. It's going to be a little bit of a journey to get back there. But we'll get back there. Uh, I can upgrade these chests now. Are they... No. Uh, what do I need to upgrade? If I were to upgrade them, it's going to need a copper sheet or an iron sheet, two leather, nails, and planks. So I need nine planks, nine nails, at least to go from 18 to 24, plus this other material. Or, or if I go into here where it says cupboard, 20 planks, 15 nails will give me a storage of 40. Uh, chest level number three, we know that. What else did I learn here? Windmill can be used to craft items can only be placed outdoors construction strength. I've I think I've seen this So where the windmill can go on 
is like the stone crusher. So if I put it on the stone crusher, if I go like that, stone mill upgrade, what does it allow me to do? So I think I can put it on here and it'll help turn turn the uh, the stone crusher. What did I learn in here? I know how to make tile now, which is clay, coal, ember, and brick, which is clay, coal, ember. All right, I think there was something else in here I need to look at and see the alchemy table. What did we learn here? Cement. Yes, cement is going to be kind of... Oh, I need hybrid potatoes to make cement. All right, so cement I need for the stone foundations. Uh, brick, I can make a brick in here with stone. Interesting. So I get... So one stone gives me four brick? And this gives me ten brick. Alright, I see what you're doing there. Okay, uh, that's not too bad. Let's go back in here. Uh, what did it also unlock? Animal husbandry level number two. That requires brick, paper, yeah, a whole bunch of stuff there. Let me go, uh, I think I, I'll make sure I get rid of my ink here so I don't lose it if I die somewhere. Ink, there we go. All right, so what did I learn here? I learned something for building material. My guess is it's all going to be here. Uh, stone floors. So that requires stone and cement. Uh, brick wall is, well, brick and cement. Tile roof is going to be tile, nails, and planks. And wall partition is going to be brick and cement. What else did I learned here? Uh, a bed, a brazier. Oh, so I can now start giving me some nightlight benches. Wrought iron gate. Brick fence, garden gnome. I don't know what uh, what that gnome actually does for us. Uh, lantern, so I can have lights around here. But it's usually pretty... It's not that dark around here at all. Alright, so what else do we learn around here? Anything new down here? Nothing new down here. Anything new around here? Nothing new in the seed beds. Oh, no, we got something new over here. Uh, organic fertilizer. So, silt, um, cane, palm leaf, or swamp dill, and vinegar. Grill speed 100%, harvest amount 50%. It's the saltpeter that's been killing me. It's the saltpeter that's killing me. So, for the white cane and organic potato, you gotta come over here to your uh, garden table. And, like the hybrid potatoes, this take potatoes. Spider webs, blue slime, which you get from, I believe, the blue nightcaps. Uh, silt, which you get from the swamp, swamp water, obviously. Uh, white cane is this regular cane, knacker. Slime, which you get from, uh, I kind of use it all. Um, that's the snot, not snot, cave snot, crap, whatever it is, <laughs> and silt, and swamp water. So that's what I've been making uh, to get those. I'll have to make some more later on. Put those in the seed beds. I'll be crafting up later on. But also I'll be doing level number three construction a little bit as well. Um, I think I'm all set here. Uh, just before we head on off, make sure I can build the teleporter, right? No. I Where did I use stone? Did I drop a piece of stone somewhere? All right. Let me go get a piece of stone. I mean, it's not like I couldn't have found one on my way there. But now I'm going to show you how to get to the second map to get your um, swamp dill. Let's go over here and just grab a stone. Now I can build a, tele build a teleporter. All right, so I want to meet you at the... I'm going to go to the swamp, go to the cave. I need to sh show you to where to go, and then uh, we'll go from there. So once you get on the first swamp map, this is the cave you're going to need, and this is the map right here. By the way, this map, you can go in either direction. So this is where you enter on the map. And basically, if you're counting the five caves, you or when you come on the map, you're going to see question marks if you haven't been there yet. But it's the second cave from the left, or obviously the fourth cave if you go counterclockwise. So, yep, this is where you enter from the base map where your home is and teleport through there. And I, you can just shoot straight across if you want, but you got to go into this cave right here. But just remember, you need dynamite to get into these caves. But the second one... If you're going clockwise, or the fourth one if you're going counterclockwise. So let's go on into the cave. And I have cleared this cave out, but I'll show you the map of the cave. 
So basically, you want to come in here. When you get to the first intersection, you want to take a right and keep on going around. Go past the first intersection, loop on around, and there's a cave here. I have not explored this little section here yet, but this cave will bring us over to the other swamp map. I'm going to make my way there. There should be nothing along the way. I've killed everything all the way through there. As for all the caves, all the caves are the same for what you can get on the inside. Um, jade, uh, the caves, snot, crap stuff uh whatever it is uh the blue nightcap is what you can get also so i will meet you at the other entrance to the other swamp and we'll go ahead and place my teleporter down that way i have to keep traveling this far to get there so i would suggest if you're going to go this route make sure you have the material for a teleporter as well because it is kind of a journey here garbage and jade i'll pick that on up now, before I head on over through, and I'm almost there, the cave to get the other swap map, I'm going to go and clear out this area here, and I'm going to show you, because I don't think I've showed you the, should I call them upgraded spiders, but they are getting bigger. See what's down this little alleyway here? Yeah, you can see they're, they're just a little bit bigger. And they do like to run away, for sure. Oh, wow, a whole bunch of them here. Give me some help. I got the manner to do so. I need to. I, I need to get more points into that uh, damage burst. This is why I hate about the spiders. They just run. No, attack! Not the stone. Attack the spiders. You. Damn it. This is where I probably should get the, uh, the other blow gun. Just because when I get stuck by the webs, I can go ahead and just use a blow gun on them. And hopefully kill them that way. Because like I said, you can see they, they like to run away. And by the way, it's cave snack. Stuck yes. Cave. <laughs> cave snot caps. Uh, this is why I'm saying I hate fighting the spiders. They just, you hit them twice and they do run away. Um, but this is cave. This cave is now cleared. Let's go ahead and teleport through, or not teleport through, but go through the cave. You do not need dynamite to get through on this cave. Let's go ahead and go on through here. And build myself a teleporter. I was ready to say, uh, don't, hopefully the game doesn't crash. I have, I have heard a couple of people say it has crashed once or twice, but it has not really crashed yet on me just yet. So I'm going to go ahead and build myself a teleporter. And all my friends are coming to help. And I'm just going to name this one Swamp Map Number 2. I can spell correctly swamp map number two perfect so now I can teleport back here whenever I need to which will be pretty darn soon um, yeah my health is not doing the best so ah do I want to roam around here a bit now there is the diamond here so my guess is like on paradise island the diamond is going to be where the swamp boss is so, what I'm probably going to do between episodes is we got that other armor to build up. Actually, let me go back home. Let's have another quick look at that stuff and what do I need to make that armor? Because I just kind of looked at it quickly. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to get there. I'm not going to be able to build that. But let's go into armory table number two. Um, let me just look at the hats because... So, poison mask. That requires cotton fabric, rough leather, jaded clasp, copper sheets uh antidote and strong thread uh i forgot what strong thread was made with here um where's the strong thread looking right at it that is fibrous dill and fibrous dill is made in the garden table i'm sure fibrous dill here is swamp dill uh spider web slime silt and swamp water all right, so that's not too much of an issue, but before we go and end the episode, 
But man, I've been recording for a long time here, so I don't know how long this episode is going to be. Um, what do I need to build? Where is it? Uh, the cupboard. 20 planks, 15 nails. That is rather cheap. Uh, 20 planks, and I got enough nails. I'm just going to go ahead and build it over here in the corner for now. Uh, well, I don't know which way the front is. Where are my three friends? There we go. So I'm probably going to have a lot of these when we get back. I'm probably not going to destroy the chest. I'll keep those around. Um, may start working on the stone foundation for a lot of the stuff. I, I'm just going to put it on the stone foundation. I don't know if I'm going to put it on any wall because I don't think... Can I put that stuff outside? Or inside? Can only be placed outdoors. So I'll probably just build a stone foundation to make it look good. Is all I'm going to really do. But we're almost done here. Is there any levels up on the chest? Uh, the cupboard here? Or is this going to be like the highest level that there is? Well, that's a lot of flipping storage. So what I'm talking about is if like we go to the chest here, it shows three levels and the cupboard only shows yeah, there's no upgrades to it as of right now I don't know if you'll add that to the game or late, not later on but man, even with 24 storage slots, yeah, my storage is just completely full, but I got a lot of organizing to do, like I said, this stuff is going, all going to be moved, I want to build a stone foundation probably over here right in this general area I am probably am going to rebuild a teleporter for like right here just to kind of move it more centralized to the three buildings. That way when I come back, I can, you know, go into each building a little bit quicker. Uh, probably need a few more greenhouses. Probably, I'm, I'm actually thinking I might need more seed beds, honestly. Um, so I may build some more other, I may just build, or I'll leave this one here for like the regular, original seeds. And for all the seeds that we make in here on the garden table, I'll make another, another seed bed. Or who knows, I may move the animals again. Um... But a lot needs to be done, and I may actually build another muscle... What's that called? A muscle collector? Muscle... Yeah, we need a lot of knacker. Um, what's it called again? Muscle pool. It's good that I got two of them. But when I collect on two of them, I can only make five knacker out of it. So, it's a slow process. A little bit of a grind, but you know what? The grinding in this game is not bothering me at all. Let's go ahead and make some knacker right there. Go ahead and craft that on up. The ghost will be lovely. So the next thing we need to kind of do is get some animal husbandry, which is not going to be too hard to do. I just got to make some paper with some white cane. Uh, brick is not hard to make. Ink is not that hard to make. Ice processing, I think that's where it's going to stop for us because that's probably going to be after we beat the swamp boss. Uh, potion crafting is going to be cold crystals. Well, that's going to be on the other map, so... Probably just unlock Animal Husbandry next episode, and we'll be on the other swamp map to start getting over to the boss, maybe fight the boss, but I'm going to have to go ahead and make some better armor than what we got, I'm pretty darn sure. But hopefully by the time we see next episode, uh, a little bit more organized around here, and uh, some more chest. But finally found some swamp dill, and I got to make some more, more interesting seeds. A lot more interesting seeds. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching. As always, I'll catch you again right here in Force of Nature 2. Ghostkeeper. But until then, have a good one.